it's time for another amazing chemistry video with Mr. Stapleton. Proudly sponsored by Farmer Junior Nice Coffee. Hi guys, this is going to be a really quick video which is just going to be looking at the enthalpy equation and in particular how you rearrange it to find certain different variables within the equation. Um, so if you remember the enthalpy equation, um, to calculate your enthalpy, delta H, it's 4.18 times your change in temperature times the volume over 1000 times the number of moles. Okay, so that's our equation and there's a couple of variables within here, all right? Most of the time within a question, what you'll be doing is calculating the enthalpy here, using your change in temperature, the volume of water that you're heating or dissolving in, okay? And um, then the number of moles through the change in mass that occurs when you're doing your um, uh, practical. <coughs> Sometimes though, what they might ask you is around either the change in temperature, finding the initial or final temperature, or finding the volume used, or the number of moles as well. So I'm just going to quickly go through um, how we rearrange the equation, okay, in order to get the value that we want. So I'm going to start off by just looking at temperature, okay. So if we want to find the uh, temperature, we need to rearrange the equation. <coughs> so when when you rearrange the equations, first thing you need to remember is that whatever you do to the left hand side, you must do to the right hand side also, okay. So what we're trying to do is isolate or get delta T on its own, okay. So the first thing that we're going to do, <coughs> if we've got our equation of delta H equals 4.18 times delta T times V over 1000 times N, what we want to try and do is get rid of the 1000 times N. So to do that, we multiply both sides by 1000 times N. Okay? If we multiply both sides by 1000 times N, that's going to cancel out on the bottom here, and this is going to go over to the other side. So we're going to end up with delta H times a thousand times by a number of moles is equal to 4.18 times by delta T times by V. Next step is we want to try and get rid of the 4.18 and the times by volume to get our temperature. So what we do is we divide both sides by 4.18 times by the volume. Okay, So we're trying to cancel out both of those two. And what we end up with is that our uh, Enthalpy, delta H, if we times that by a thousand, times that by a number of moles, divide it by 4.18 times by the volume, that's going to give us a change in temperature. And then if the question gives you the um, initial or the final temperature, given you've got a change in temperature, you'll be able to determine what the initial or final temperature will be that you need. <coughs> Alright, that's the first one. I'm going to rub that out and then go through how we calculate volume. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at calculating uh, or rearranging our equation to calculate the volume, if that's what it's asking us. So again, if we're going to look at volume, okay, uh, we need to rearrange our equation. So 4.18 times by delta T times by V over 1000 times N. Okay? Very similar to what we did for temperature, we need to get rid of the 1000 times n, so we're going to divide both sides, sorry, multiply both sides by 1000 times n. That's going to get rid of the divide 1000 times n. Okay, so we're going to multiply here, and that ends up with delta h times 1000 times by number of moles is equal to 4.18 times by delta t times by the volume. Okay. Now, again, we need to get rid of the 4.18 and the delta T this time because we're trying to keep the volume, all right? So we're going to divide both sides by 4.18 by delta T, okay? And we're going to end up with enthalpy times by 1,000 times by number of moles divided by 4.18 times by the change in temperature. And if we do that, that will give us the volume that we're using. Okay, so it's basically exactly the same conversion that we went through to calculate temperature, and I suggest you do um, this each time rather than trying to memorize the different equations. If you can work through in your head of doing the opposite, all right, of getting rid of moving the sides, rearranging the equation, you'll be able to get to the right equation each time. I'm going to go through the final one to show you how we can do it for a number of moles. That's a little bit different, but it's reasonably straightforward. And so the final one that we want to look at is rearranging the equation to work out the number of moles. Okay? So if we want to work out the number of moles, again, we've got our equation, enthalpy equals 4.18 times by delta T 
times by V over a thousand times the number of moles. Okay, so this time what we want to do is we want to actually try and get the number of moles over to this side, same as we did last time, but then get rid of the delta H that's on this side. So we're going to do the same step, times it by a thousand times by the number of moles, that will cancel out those ones, and we're going to get delta H times by a thousand times by number of moles equals 4.18 times delta T times V. Now that has been the same for all three rearrangements. Rearranging, so all three of them we started off by multiplying by a thousand times n to get rid of that. However, this time what we want to do is get rid of delta h in a thousand. So now we're going to divide by delta h times a thousand, and we're going to end up with the number of moles is equal to 4.18 times the change in temperature times your volume over delta H, so your enthalpy, times by a thousand. And that's your rearranged equation for working out the number of moles. So <coughs> hopefully this has been um, fairly straightforward for you to follow. If you do that first step each time of multiplying by a thousand times N and then cancel out what you don't need to just get the unknown, either temperature, volume, or number of moles, you'll be fine. Okay. As always, um, just uh, if you've got any questions, just ask and practice, practice, practice. Thanks, guys.